All right, guys, it's our third installment. Now we're going to find the area of a regular polygon when we're given the apothem. Okay, so the area is one half. We have the apothem, 14. Now we got to find the perimeter. Okay, same thing. We're going to complete our right triangle. The radius, we don't need the radius here. Sometimes I can give you the radius, you can find the missing two, but we don't need it here. We're looking for this piece here, X. And then we'll double it and figure it out. All right, so I have an octagon here. I need to find the measure of this angle right there. So remember, we take 360 divided by 8 to get each cent triangle, which will be 45. Then we divide that by 2, 22.5 degrees. As you get the flow, you're going to see just divide it by, instead of divide by 8, then by 2, divide by 16. Just divide it by double. I'm always going to show it out like this, but you're going to figure out the pattern soon enough. Okay, so here again, I'm going to have tangent. The tangent of 22.5 is x over 14. x is 14 times the tangent of 22.5. So the tangent of 22.5 times 14. x is 5.8. That's 5.8, so 5.8 times 2, the whole side, they're all the same, is 11.6. Each side is 11.6. So the perimeter is 11.6 times 8. 92, so it's 1 half, 14 times 92.8. Half of 14 is 7, 92.8 times 7. 649.6 feet squared. Okay, so that's solving for the area of a polygon given the apothem. It's the same thing whether you have the apothem, the radius, or the side length. You're finishing, you're completing this right triangle, and you're using your tree. Okay, so it's just another application of tree. There's going to be a challenge problem I want you to try. I'll post that video for you, and then I'll give you your classwork.